Now we're going to say a few things about linear equations. And solving equations is a big deal. That's one of the things that shows up in math courses repeatedly from here on. So we'll be talking about linear equations, which is one of the simpler types of equations. So first, what is an equation? You should write this in your notes. An equation is a mathematical statement. A mathematical statement that says two expressions are equal. A mathematical statement that says two expressions are equal. That's an equation. One thing equals another. That's an equation. So here are some examples. P equals 2L plus 2W. You might recognize this as the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle with length L and width W. The point here is that it's an equation. I have one thing equal to another thing. So here's an expression and here's an expression and the equation tells me that the two are equal. This equals that. So an equation always has an equal sign. In, in that case you see it right there. Here's another equation. 2 plus 5 equals 7. You recognize this as an obviously true mathematical fact but it's also an equation. I have one mathematical expression equal to another. On the right it happens to be a very simple mathematical expression, just a single number, but this is an equation and again we note that it has an equal sign. One more example, x plus 2 equals 6. That's an equation. This tells me one thing is equal to another. Now this is only going to be a true equation, you can probably tell by looking, if x has a value of 4. So whether an equation like this, when we see a variable in the equation, whether the equation is true or not depends on the value of the variable. Now if you take a look at this equation, x plus 2 equals 6, x there is a variable and it could represent any number. Variables can be used to stand for any number, but there's only one number that we could use for x that would make this equation a true statement, and that's obviously the number 4. If you put in a 4 right there, then this is 4 plus 2 equals 6, which is true. Any other number right there for x makes it a false statement. The number 4, because it makes this statement true, that number is called the solution to the equation. So x equals 4 is the solution, or sometimes we say that the value x equals 4 is the value for x that satisfies that equation. That's the number we can plug in for x that will make that equation true, that will satisfy that equation. And that's what a solution is. It's any value of the variable that will make the equation true. Now simple equations you can solve in your head just by adding and subtracting. Like take a look at this one, x plus 3 equals 6. What value for x can we plug in right there such that this statement is true? In other words, what plus 3 is equal to 6? And it should be pretty obvious that the answer is x equals 3. 3, x equals 3 is the solution to that equation. Or this next one, a minus 4 equals 1. What number can we put in there for a that will make that equation true? What minus 4 equals 1? and it's pretty easy to see that a equals 5. 5 is the solution to that equation. Solving equations is an extremely important topic. It's one of the most important things we do in algebra and we'll learn a lot more about solving equations as this course continues.